I got a whole roll, uh, four foot by 100 foot, four foot wide, 100 foot long, of uh, US Energy, uh, oh shoot, I can't remember what it's called, um, but it's the like foil insulation. It says it's R8, and uh, <clears throat> it's, uh, I was reading a lot of it, and sorry, the wood's kind of falling over here. But uh, what I was reading was that some people were upset because they, they felt that the, uh, the manufacturer was being a little misleading on their ads or on their uh, presentation of what it was. Because it does say it's R8, but it says with proper ins installation. Um, oh, which the installation that they suggest is that there be an air gap between it and the exterior wall, uh, which is going to increase the R value because that air gap air is, uh, you know, an insulator. So anyway, when I was looking at it, uh, I, I saw first saw the R8. So I understand what they're saying. You know, I was like, ooh, R8, that's nice. That's, that looks cool. But as I was, I was reading the articles of everyone dogging it and complaining about it, I looked at the, the manufacturer's website again, and it, it says for the application that I'm intending on using it for, which is putting it right up against the center block. Just smack right on top of it, done. Um, but the manufacturer's saying that's R5. If you can do it that way, so they're they're not. I mean, it's it's kind of misleading if you just look at the, you know, the little flash at the top of the screen where it says R8. Which if you install it the way that they suggest, it is R or it should be R8. Uh, but for my install, since I'm not following their recommendation, it's going to be R5. I don't have a problem with that. Uh, but what I'm mainly using this for, or my intent is, is as in another air stop for what I didn't paint and anything that I did miss where I didn't paint. So even if air flows through it, or air flows through the wall, rather, it's, this is going to stop it. Okay? So I don't need it to be R8. It's, an air, it, it's, it's insulation that it's also acting as an air stop. Uh, which then I'm going to put my walls up and I'm going to insulate my walls because this is going to prevent moisture on my bad insulation therefore I can actually put bad insulation up win-win I'll put a link for it down below in the description okay this is bat insulation okay so you can see it's kind of fibrous and everything else and air can flow through it Okay, it's got space and gaps and everything else through it. So air can flow through it. So I don't want to put just this up in between my walls. This stuff's pretty thin. This stuff's going to get me there. It's going to prevent some of the air flow through. Then I'll put a little bit of a gap after it, which will increase the R value. Not the R value for this. The R value between this and my actual wall. But if I put like an inch gap there, it'll probably be R8. Anyway, so I really don't care. <clears throat> and we got some of the liquid nails, heavy duty uh, construction adhesive for interior and exterior to put it on, or at least make sure it stays on the wall. Uh, we did get some foil tape to tape it up, uh, or tape it together and tape the seams and everything else. And of course we had the staple gun to staple on a platter. But since this wall, I really, I don't feel comfortable with just a few staples on the top and a little bit of tape in the middle. Uh, I feel better with some construction adhesive to actually hopefully fix it to the wall. Uh, a lot of those guys that are complaining about this stuff though, they, they are looking at just the R value. They're not looking at the actual air flow value, you know, the air actually passing through stuff. So what they gotta look at, they gotta, they gotta look at the thing as a whole. Okay, I can put the bad insulation up and the air can flow through. Yeah, I might have a higher R value, but the air can still flow through. Now, of course, when you put your inside wall up, you should be mudding or whatever, whatever material you're using, and then that should fill in the gaps and prevent most of the air from flowing. But why not have the air prevent it from flowing over here? Then the air gap. Then your actual wall. Then your interior part of the wall, which is another air stop. I don't know, makes sense to me. But anyway, 
We'll get to it. Okay, old goats, as you can see, we're about halfway done. Um, this might still be a little wet. It's not really sticking very well. Um, it, it, it'll, it'll straighten up once I get pressure put to it. Um, we went ahead and started on the, uh, the bottom half or quarter. We're just gonna overlap. I really don't care. I don't feel like cutting it and everything else. And, you know, so I, I'm gonna need two more rolls to do the entire basement. Another roll for the other half, and then a roll should should be the other two smaller rooms. So you know, two roll, two more rolls anyway. I don't care. I can overlap a little bit. It ain't gonna it ain't gonna kill me. Uh, but we are putting the uh, the foil tape where it's overlapping, and we are putting the the uh, adhesive to the wall. So we'll go ahead and get the set up. Uh, we didn't show the first half because it's a lot of cutting and a lot of heaving up and trying to staple it in and trying to find out where I can staple it to because, you know, some of the wood's not really visible and easy to get to. is up on the wall so we're happy about that we actually got some stuff done today this stuff went up really easy you can tell uh, the, the hardest part was getting it started you know uh, the, the top part you stapling it in and getting it bent around things and then trying to glue it or at least put the adhesive on it that was a little difficult but the bottom the bottom was nice and easy just done uh, we'll catch back up with you guys later I'm hoping to uh, start top plates, bottom plates this weekend. Hoping, but we'll see. Bye.